Uh, it's your boy, Jay Mitch. Um, just, it's been a while. Had a couple projects going on. Um, but I just want to do a quick video on my first armor. Um, I got this armor um, a couple years ago. Um, it was the last one in the store. Got a good, sweet deal on it. And yeah, about a week later, the Big Rock came out. And then um, the Faison came out. And I had a little regret of buying this, but I got it for a good price and uh, pretty much the same thing underneath um, all those guys. A um, couple different little updates to those other ones, but all in all, they all based off of this one. And um, I just wanted to do a quick review on it because I don't know how much longer I'm going to have her around. Uh, she may be leaving us soon. There's a 80% chance that she's going to be leaving the, the armor collection that I have very soon i got my eye on some other projects i want to do down the line but anyway i just want to go through um what i have on the car um it's a great car fast car definitely 4s was okay but 6s is what you want to run this car on i mean you guys seen all the the review videos on this bad boy you really want to run 6s on this thing it's a beast i uh, just want to go over what makes mine a little bit different and um, the condition of what, what mines is in. Okay, so first of all, I got the matching blue SRC Terrain Crusher tires. I cleaned them up as much as I could, if that's what you want to call clean. Um, but yeah, I got the, the SRC Terrain Crusher wheels on it all the way around, in good shape. Also, you see I got the wheelie bar there. And what else do I have on this car? Oh, look, I have the mud guards on the car, too. Very, very helpful. When you bash these things, it, it prevents anything getting caught up in those dry shafts. Um, I mean, when I had to clean this car, I literally did not have to touch these dry shafts. They were so clean of debris. And in fact, they're so clear, I had to actually order some for my other armor cars. Um, that's how much of a difference it is night and day with having the mud guard on. Um, take the lid off. She's so clean. Look how clean she is, man. It's crazy. You see the the F1 style shocks. One of the reasons um, tracks has sued them. I didn't agree with that lawsuit, but you know I just feel like they're hating. But you know it is what it is. They they saw that E Revo and made it better. <laughs> That's in my opinion. This is the E Revo killer. It's the true E Revo killer. Even though I am getting the E Revo 2.0. Um, <laughs> But yeah, th this is it. So you got the F1 style shocks. Look how big those shocks are. Very clean car. Very, very clean car. We got the rebranded hobby wing in there. Um, what you can't see down there, I'm gonna see if I can get a, a shot of it. Um, there's a major upgrade in there that you really can't see. Hold on, I'm gonna pause the video for a second, see if I can get a good shot of it. There it is. You see that? Savox 1270 servo steering silver. You have to do this upgrade to this car. I mean, it needs it. And um, it really makes a big difference on how this thing handles. But while we're here, let's look at the hole underneath of the car. You can see there's some scratches, but it's not totally trashed. It's, um, very good condition. Very, very good condition. You, I've seen plenty of worse. You can tell I haven't really bashed this thing to death um, like a lot of people have. I knew it was something special, so I just kind of ran it. I probably ran it less than 10, 15 times and uh, got very low runtime on it. She's pretty much been a shelf queen. I literally have never broken anything major on this car. The only thing I've ever had to replace on the car are these little ends that whenever I sell the car, they will be included. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is the only thing I've ever broken on the car, and I've done some things with it. Um, also, you'll see here all the parts I have for the car, the replacement stock. This is a replacement underneath the uh, plate here, bottom plate. Um, here's a, re oh, sorry, maybe I broke a, uh, and uh, not the whole hoop, because you can see this is still a brand new hoop. I think I just broke, um, yeah, you can see what I broke is I put the broken part right there. You see it? 
just one of the supports for the body mounts, body mount support. It's the only thing I ever broke, or only two things I ever broke on the car. Uh, but yeah, you can see what I have here. Pretty much have everything for this car. So you see the car. You get a closer look at the radio. Here it is. And the glory. See the diff brain switch up top there. No, I think my very first YouTube video was about the diff brain and making that work. Also, here I got the original books, tools, a couple spare XT90 battery plugs. There's a good tool set there. Uh, some, some, um, I guess for your, your suspension. And here's the body. She's in pretty decent shape. She's been bad, so she's not trashed. She's still there. And of course, when I sell the car, the batteries that are in there aren't included. Um, but I just wanted to do a final bash on her. Probably my final bash on her before I, I send her on her way. If the deal goes through. But if not, we'll put some good content out of this car. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to give you guys a bit. It's been a while. And since this one may be leaving sooner rather than later, I figured I'm just make one good bit about it for you guys and for me uh, remember her um really really don't want to let her go but i got the price i wanted for the car um well i'm supposed to be getting the price i'll ask for the car um yeah so yeah that's it i just want to say um shout out to everybody you know who i subscribe to you got philip jolly you got uh mr henry fords uh, I got a new friend on Facebook, Dave Hubbard. That's my homeboy. Uh, my boy, Rich Nunez. Um, just everybody who, who's been around. Also, got to give a shout out to Death Row RC boys in Philly. Um, I'm part of the club. So, I, if you see you see a couple things on the video, that might be me. Um, and, um, yeah, just, just everybody in general. Um, thanks for watching. Be good. Peace.